All right, this is weird. I haven't seen Wally all day today. Hmm. Let's see. He's not in his office, and he's not in the lab. Hmm. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Neighbor around here in a while either. I wonder where the two of them could have wandered off to. Hey, howdy. Oh, hey, Barnaby. What's up? Have you seen Wally or Neighbor around perchance? Not since this morning, no. I did see Wally a few hours ago, though. Looked like he was chewing out one of the security guards. Something about Neighbor... Going up to the roof? Shit. 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 All right. Just relax, Barnes. There's... There's no way Wally would jump off of the roof. Maybe Neighbor would, but not Wally. Please. Please, not Wally. Huh? Aww. Well, would you look at that? Curled up in the sun together like a couple of kittens. Hold on, where's my phone? Blackmail for days. Blackmail for days. And send. Sally's gonna get a kick out of this. Hey, you two. Wake up! Huh? Barnaby? Ah, uh, shit. You... I... This... This isn't what it looks like. No need to explain yourself to me, boss. I just came to make sure everything was all right up here. The two of you have been gone for a few hours, so... Wait, what? Oh, fucking hell, you weren't kidding. Come on, neighbor, that's my tuck shop this for by. We gotta go. <laughs> hmm? Oh, don't worry, neighbor. I won't tell anyone. Starting now. Okay. Finally. I think I've finally managed to fix all the errors in production's reports. Now we can get to the paperwork that isn't fucked up. Hopefully. What the? It's already 5 a.m.? Why do I do this to myself? Why did I agree to become the manager of this fucking shit show? Ah. Hmm? Morning, neighbor. You're early today. You're just a person I wanted to see, actually. Could you fetch me another cup of coffee? Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna make it through this next stack of paperwork. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. All this paperwork must be getting to me. Because I know, I know, you didn't just tell me no. You did? What? Hey, what the f- uh, you know what? You know what? Screw it. I'm way too tired to be chasing them around the factory. I guess I'll just have to go and get my own coffee. What the? Uh, the coffee maker's gone. The coffee maker's gone. And I'm pretty sure I know who's responsible. Neighbor? It's me. Open the door. Neighbor, I can smell the coffee brewing all the way out here. I may be completely exhausted right now, but I can still kick this door off of its hinges if I have to. Now open the door. Thank you. Now where's... Why? Is the coffee maker in your office? 
you didn't get any sleep last night. Well, that's not an excuse, because neither did I. Now give... Neighbor, it's not yours. Now give me the coffee. Don't think that I won't get into a full-blown fistfight with you over this coffee maker. Take a nap. You go take a nap. I've got paperwork to do. <sighs> all right, all right, fine. I'll let you keep the coffee maker in your office if it'll keep you going for the rest of the day. But I'll still be getting myself some coffee. Now move over. No, no, move over. I'm grabbing me a cup. <sighs> You're about to have a whole bunch of ornery production workers up your ass about this. I hope you realize that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, neighbor. I'm sorry, I... I didn't hear you walk in. Yeah, no, I'm just... trying to gather the brain cells left in my head that aren't fried so I can start logging in this data. How long have you been standing there? Not very long. All right. When was the last time I got any sleep? Oh, let me think. What day is it again? Tuesday? Okay, so it's been about... Three days? Or so? Hey, listen, it may not be healthy. But at this point... I'll just sleep when I'm dead. Or when this data gets logged. Whichever comes first. Uh, what do you mean I'm losing it right now? I'm fine. Tired, but fine. What do you mean you aren't real? You seem pretty real to me. Hallucinating, you say? Excuse me for just a moment. Barnaby? Barnes. Hmm? Uh, yes, boss. Get a load of this. Neighbor here thinks I'm hallucinating right now. Uh, boss? What exactly are you talking about right now? <laughs> what am I talking about? Neighbor. They're trying to tell me that they're not really there right now. <laughs> Good one, boss. But seriously, there's nobody there. <laughs> Made you look, am I right? <laughs> uh, I knew you still had a sense of humor. I gotta get back to my workbench now. Take it easy. <laughs> well, that's just Barnaby. You know how he is. All right, just hold on for just a moment. Audi. Um, yes, boss? Can you go to my office real quick and fetch my assistant for me? But you just... I don't question me. Just do it. All right. I'm going. Thank you. I am sorry, boss, but neighbor's not in there. What? That's ridiculous. I... Oh, what the hell? They were just in here. Are you... Feeling all right there, buddy? You look... Fine. I'm fine. I know my limits, all right? I assure you, my assistant is real. Hair just... Trying to fuck with me right now. Ah... Uh, all right. Good luck finding them, I guess. Oh, I will. Mark my words. I will. Frank, Eddie. Yes, Wally, what can we do for you? 
Have either of you seen Neighbor since coming into the break room? Nope, I haven't seen them. Well, do you know where they might be right now? <sighs> Wally, they've been in the lab all day. The lab? All right, now I know that's bullshit. I swear, this is some Jeremy levels of fuckery going on right here. Ha ha! You. I finally found you. What the- Walden? What's going on? Listen, I don't know what kind of game you're playing at right now, but it stopped being funny about five minutes ago. Are you... feeling all right, sir? Oh, I'm fine now that I finally found my assistant, and I know they're not a hallucination. Walden, sweetie. Neighbor's not in here. Oh, not you too. And since when did you start calling me sweetie again? You haven't called me that since the divorce. Okay, here. Have some coffee. Clearly you need it. Mm. Why the fuck do I taste blueberries? <sighs> okay, yep. There you go, big guy. Let's get you to Poppy so you can sleep this off. All right, neighbor, look, as funny as that was, I think you might have taken it a bit too far. I mean, getting the whole factory in on it? Well, at least your plan worked. The amount of sleep potion that was put into that mug was so concentrated, he's bound to be asleep for the rest of the day. But, uh... We're going to have a lot of explaining to do when he wakes up. Okay, this is getting a little scary. Patience, sweetheart. He'll wake up. Don't you worry. It's been two days, Poppy. And he hasn't so much as twitched since yesterday. Well, you, Julie, and Neighbor were the ones that gave him the sleep potion. I didn't think we gave him that much. Well, he was pushing himself going three days without any sleep. Naturally, his body's going to take the time he needs to recoup. Hmm. Sally, you know that I would tell you if anything was wrong. Wally's doing just fine. He could wake up any time now. I hope it's soon. Nothing against neighbor or anything, but it seems like they're having a rough time trying to manage the factory without him. Not to mention, there have been a few workers that have been chomping at the bit to get at them and Wally since he's been out. Did Eddie really try to put Jeremy in a headlock just for coming in here to get some ibuprofen? Yes, he really did. That sounds... incredible. I wish I could have seen it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Boss? Mm -hmm. Sally? Oh my god. You're finally awake. Welcome back, big guy. What happened? Where am I? Just relax, hon. You're in the infirmary. You've been asleep for the past two days now. Hobby? Hmm. I had the strangest dream. I... Neighbor. Where are they? Let's not worry about neighbor right now. Can I get you anything? No, not until I see my assistant. Please, Poppy, I need to see them. Okay, okay. I'll give them a call. Anything else I can get for you? 
a cup of coffee? Absolutely not, young man. You're going to have a nice glass of water and a proper meal first. Mm. Are you feeling all right, sir? You're shaking. I'll be fine just as soon as I see neighbor again. <laughs> so, how about that dream you mentioned earlier? It was so bizarre. Neighbor and I were working, and then suddenly they started going on about how I was losing it and that they were just a hallucination. And you guys kept telling me that they weren't really there or that you couldn't see them, and I... <laughs> uh, sounds like a very silly dream, eh, boss? It wasn't a dream, was it? Well, no, it wasn't. You see, what happened was you weren't getting any sleep, and we all know we weren't going to be able to convince you to take a break, so... So you just made me think I was losing my mind until I finally passed out? Wait. Why do I remember having a cup of coffee that tasted like blueberries? We might have given you a heaping dose of one of our sleep potions. And all of you were in on it. You, Julie, Eddie, Frank, Howdy, Barnaby, Na- Neighbor. Will you come here for just a second? <sighs> okay. You're real. You're real. <laughs> you can drop the charade. Sally told me everything. Yes, seriously. Look, I understand your concern, but that, that was uncalled for. And because I can't very well put you all on grinder duty for this, I'll just be putting you on grinder duty for, oh, the next two weeks or so. Maybe that'll teach you not to fuck around with my head. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, well, you see... Wally was feeling incredibly stressed out and struggling with some pretty violent intrusive thoughts. So, I turned the observation room into a rage room. Are those my wine glasses? Only the ones that had cracks or chips in them. Same with the beakers and test tubes that are in there. Well, alright then. Is that... Wally's fax machine I see in the pile. Well, he doesn't use it, so... And the printer that's been broken for the past five years? Yep. And what about all the beer and liquor bottles that are in there? Well, some of the workers around the factory found out what we were up to, and they decided to pitch in. Huh. Okay, then. You realize this is only a temporary fix, right? Walden needs more help than just some time in a rage room. He needs to be put back on a regular sleep schedule, lay off the coffee, and reestablish a proper work-life balance. Damn it, Julie, I'm his assistant, not a miracle worker. Hmm, true that. And really, which would you rather have? Him smashing a bunch of glass, ceramic, and broken equipment? Or him using that golf club on somebody's face? 
Well, I guess this is the better alternative. Hey. 20 bucks says he starts crying after he's finished. 50 bucks says he starts crying before. Oh, you're on. You guys realize that the fucking mic is on, right? Well, I guess we should have made sure the mic was off, shouldn't we? Anybody want popcorn? I can make some. I could eat. Me too. Okay. He hasn't moved in about five minutes. Should we check and make sure he's okay? Walden? You doing okay, bud? No response. Typical. Maybe he's just processing right now. Seems like there was a lot of heavy shit that he just let out. And Eber, go check if he's crying yet. We've got some real money on the line here. Are you trying to get me killed? No. Walden won't kill you. You're one of the few assistants he's had that he actually likes. Still, I think we should give him a little bit more time to process and decompress. Like Sally said, he was dealing with some pretty heavy shit. Aren't we all? Just go in there and make sure he's okay. If he goes completely catatonic, he'll just keep standing there for several more hours. <sighs> Wally? Are you alright? Fine. Everything's fine. Why wouldn't I be fine? Come on, boss. You know you can talk to me about it if you want. Not while those two are out there watching me like I'm a goddamn circus act. Come on. I don't want to be like this. I'm the manager of this facility, for Christ's sake. I'm the one that's supposed to be able to handle whatever this place throws at me and keep a cool head. But instead, I... Well, just look at this place. Why don't you take the rest of the day off and just relax? I can handle things from here. Oh, okay. <sighs> All right, Julie, pay up. Fifty bucks, come on. What? Fifty? I thought you bet twenty. I did. But after seeing all that... Fifty bucks. Come on, cough it up. Ah. <sighs> Alright, neighbor. What is it you wanted to show me? Oh. Alright, that's kinda... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Can you not? That was a perfectly good shade of red. And what's with the flares? Oh, not the blue. When I said test the spectra samples, this is not what I meant. And now the green. Look at that. Perfectly good shade of green. Wasted. Alright, seriously, what is with the- Oh. Alright, that- That looks like it was scraped out of the septic tank. Oh no, not the yellow. That was a flawless shade of yellow, too. And again with the blue? No, what? What the fuck? Grinder duty. Grinder duty? For the rest of the year. Hmm? Coming. Ah, neighbor. Did you need something? You had a question about our uniform policy. What about, specifically? Just in general? Well, to be honest, I'm pretty lax about it. 
I mean, obviously I am the boss, so I have to look at least somewhat professional. But I also understand that sometimes it gets pretty hot in this building. Especially during the summer. I guess so long as it's functional and it won't be a distraction for you or anyone else here, I'll allow it. Is a small pin all right? Yes, of course. Yep, no problem. Hmm, hang on. Turn around. No, it's all right. I just want to see the pin. Huh, that's interesting. What kind of pin is this? The arrow ace flag. Your arrow ace? Huh. I didn't know. Of course, I'm not going to give you a hard time about it. Why would I give you a hard time about it? Everyone you've come out to hasn't been accepting? Well, listen. I can't exactly speak for myself because I'm bi, but I do know that aromantic and asexual people exist. And that's all right by me. Just let me know if anyone around here keeps giving you problems, and I'll handle it, all right? Good. That's a nice pin, by the way. I like it.